Okay, the purpose of this video is to explain how to use um, PI 83 or 84 or 84 plus any, any calculator that looks at this genre to perform Euler's method, method of coming up with approximate solutions to initial value problems. Um, and that's calculus. If you get to know that, you probably wouldn't be watching this video anyway. So let's say we have the differential equation dy dx equals x plus y. And we're given the initial value that y of 1 equals 2. Okay, very simple, basic differential equation not solvable by separation of variables, but um, nevertheless, it'll, it'll do the trick for us. So if, if we don't have this um, calculator kind of shortcut, we need to make ourselves a little table. So we need a column for x, a column for y, a column for the slope at that point, dy dx, and the column for the delta y. So x, we're starting at 1. So we're starting at point 1, 2. Okay, the slope at that point is 3. And oh, I need to, we're going to approximate y of, let's say, 5. No, no y of 1.5 um, using steps of 0.1. All this is gibberish to you if you're not familiar with Euler's or or method. Now, the delta y has to be the slope is 3, and if delta x if the run is 1, point 0.1, then our delta y is going to be point 0.3. And so that would add to this y, and our new x would be 1.1, and our new y would be 2.3. This slope would be the sum of x and y, 3.4. And so the delta y would be 0.34. And that would get added and so forth. And you would go through five iterations. Um, we'll do put one more here. 1.2, that would be 2.64. And the slope would be 3.84, making delta y 0.384, etc. Now, on the graphing calculator, So let me slide my interest equation over. Well, all I need to remember is this. But I'll move it all over so we can see it. Okay. Um, so to start off with, we need to put our initial values into the calculator. So um, one we're going to store that as x. And the colon above the decimal point allows us allows you to enter two allows you to enter more than one command in one at one time. So alpha colon and we'll put two. Two will store that as y. And now we're going to use that colon again, alpha colon. And we're going to tell the calculator to display the point x, y. And to do that, you're going to use the vector format, which is this brace, the blue brace there. x, comma, y. The calculator is treating it as a vector, but we're going to consider this to be a point. x, comma, y. y is right above the 1 alpha button, close the braces, and it gives us the point one two. 
Okay, now comes the cool part. <coughs> We're going to replace this x. So I'm going to take x and add the point 1 to it. At the same time, using the colon, we're going to take the previous y off of y and add, hmm, the delta y. Well, the delta y is the delta x, point 1, times the slope. So, point 1 times the previous x alpha no x plus previous y well now I'm wondering if I need to do this first yes I think I'm going to need to switch around I think I'm going to need to do the y first and then put the x plus point 1 afterward because otherwise this x will already be 1.1 when it's right here. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the line. Delete, 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 delete at the end of the line. We'll take care of y first. So x plus y. So this value of y, we're going to add to it our delta y, which is delta x of point 0.1 times the slope, which is x plus y. And we're going to store that as y. So we add stuff to y and restore it as y. Now using the colon key, we're going to add 0 0.5, 0 0.1 to x. So x plus 0.1. We're going to store that as x. So now x will be 1.1. And with the colon key, we're going to display the point again by just typing in brace x comma alpha y brace. And we get the 1.1, 2.3. And now we don't have to do anything. We'll hit enter again. And it gives us the 1.2, 2.64. And you just keep on going until you get to the 1.5 that you wanted your approximation for. So y of 1.5 is approximately 3.94204. Nifty, eh?